Hi students, today, today I am going to explain how to write the electronic configuration in an easy way. So this is the easiest way of writing the electronic configuration. Here I am using the molar diagram. Though it is not a much relevant one, but it helps us to write the electronic configuration of up 30 to 40 elements correctly. So that is the reason why even as of today also we are using that. Electronic configuration of higher elements, how to write? That I am going to explain in my next video with the help of half-power principle. Okay? So let us try to understand how to write the electronic configuration of at least first 30 elements. Okay? Now how this molar diagram it has been drawn? We all know very well that atom consists of centrally located nucleus. Round the nucleus you will be having orbits. According to Niel Bohr atomic model, what is there at the center? Nucleus. Round the nucleus what will be there? Orbits will be there. So this is the first orbit, second orbit, third orbit, fourth orbit and so on. Also we know that in the first orbit only one subshell is there that is S. In the second orbit two subshells are there S and P. In the third shell we have three subshells S, P, D. In the fourth orbit we have four subshells S, P, D, F. Okay. So these subshells only here in the molar diagram represented in the form of circles. So this is nothing but S subshell which is present in the first shell. This. So this is the subshell where it is present in the first shell. That is the reason why it is written as 1s. Now same s subshell is there in the second shell also. It is represented as 2s. Not only s subshell, what else is there in the second shell? p subshell. So it is called as 2p. 2s, 2p are there in the second shell. So here in the first shell only one subshell, 1s. That is the reason why only one circle. In the second shell, two subshells, s and b. That is the reason why two circles. In the third shell, three subshells. 3s, 3p, 3d. That is the reason why only three circles. In the fourth one, four subshells. 4s, 4p, 4d, 4f and so on. Since the place is not there, I am confining myself into less number of circles. Okay? Why? Because in up to 4s, 5s, there itself first 30 elements will come. Okay? Beyond that, we don't need. Okay? How much we needed? That much. Those many circles only I am drawing here. Okay. Then how to write the electronic configuration? Let us start with the very first element. Atomic number 1. That is nothing but hydrogen. Symbol is H. Atomic number 2. Helium. Atomic number 3. Lithium. Number 4. Beryllium. Number 5 boron number 6 carbon okay for first six elements how it is to be written likewise the remaining will be followed okay so let us learn first six elements how the how to write the electronic configuration of those so if you observe the atomic number of hydrogen atomic number of hydrogen is one means how many electrons are there in it only one Atomic number indicates number of protons. How many protons are there? Those many electrons will be. So atomic number 1 means hydrogen has only one electron. Where that electron should go to? In hydrogen you know very well only one shell is there. In that only one subshell. That is nothing but 1s. So the first arrow mark where it is starting, where it is ending. That should be considered. So first arrow mark where it is, it is on 1s. So 1s. In that 1s, how many electrons are there? One electron is there. So here by using the NLX formula, electronic configuration is to be written. N means number of the orbit. It is in the first orbit. So that is the reason why in place of N I have written 1. L indicates the subshell. In which subshell it is? S subshell. So S. Here, power x. x indicates number of electrons. So, in hydrogen, only one electron is there. That electron is in 1s. So, like that, 1s1 configuration, the hydrogen has. Okay. Then, let, let us switch over to helium. Helium atomic number 2. 
two protons means two electrons are there where those two electrons even in case of helium also only one shell okay in that one shell what is there only one subshell that is s so here also starts with one s only whatever may be the element first which shell is to be filled first shell after filling the first shell we need to go to the second shell if the second shell also filled we need to go to the third shell so like that so not only in that way how these aromas from where and where they are showing where the aroma is starting where it is going accordingly configuration is to be written okay so in case of helium how many electrons are there two electrons what is the capacity of s s can hold maximum two electrons p subshell can hold maximum six electrons d subshell can hold 10 electrons f can hold 14 electrons so this is the capacity so while writing the electronic configuration not only nlx formula you are supposed to remember the capacity of each and every subshell so since s has the capacity of two electrons the two electrons which are present in helium they go to 1s only so the configuration becomes 1s2 next lithium in lithium how many electrons are there atomic number 3 means 3 protons equal number of electrons so 3 electrons so how those 3 electrons are arranged in lithium atom first as usual you need to start with first arrow mark first arrow mark it is showing 1s so first 2 electrons goes to 1s only so 1s2 configuration still it left with one more electron third electron is also there in lithium can it go to 1s no s can hold maximum two electrons so 1s is filled once 1s is filled you need to switch over to the second arrow mark second arrow mark it is showing 2s so the next electron should go it should go to 2s so as a result what is the configuration of lithium 1s to 2s1 is it clear next boron first two electrons as usual 1s so 1s2 two more electrons are there 1s is 1s is completed then its remaining electron should goes to 2s so even 2s wherever s is its capacity is 2 so next two electrons they are going to 2s so its configuration has become what 1s to 2s2 next let, let us switch over to boron boron has how many electrons five electrons so as usual i said first two electrons definitely they should go to first shell once first shell is completed it should go to second shell so first two electrons goes to 1s so 1s2 next two electrons that is completely filled next two electrons should go to 2s so 2s2 2 plus 2 four done one more electron is there in boron after completing 2s we need to take the help of third arrow mark third arrow mark it is showing what 2p first 2p is to be filled then we need to fill 3s so we are writing 2p 2 plus 2 four already done one more electron is there the fifth electron it goes to 2p so configuration of boron becomes 1s2 2s2 2p1 next carbon in carbon six electrons first two electrons in 1s so 1s2 so 1s is done next two electrons go to second arrow mark is showing 2s so next two electrons should go to 2s hence it become 2s2 it is also done next you need to switch over to the third arrow mark third arrow mark is starting with 2p so 2p p has the capacity of six electrons so next two electrons of carbon they will be accommodated in 2p as a result carbon configuration becomes 1s2 2s2 2p6 likewise the electronic configuration follows in case of nitrogen 1s2 2s2 2p3 oxygen 1s2 2s2 2p4 and so on like that it is to be written here two electrons here capacity two electrons here capacity six electrons so 2 plus 2 4 4 plus 6 10 up to 10 electrons 1s2 2s2 2p6 will be filled okay 11th electron if it is sodium sodium has 11 electrons so 1s2 next 2s2 next 2p 2p6 p capacity is done 
it can't hold one more electron. But sodium has how many electrons? 11 electrons. 2 plus 2, 4. 4 plus 6, 10. Where the 11th electron it should go? Already 2p is done. Next, the arrow mark is showing 3s. So, 3s1. Okay, so that is the configuration of sodium. So, like that, with the help of the arrow marks, you are supposed to write the electronic configurations. Thank you.